Hey, Lindsay Walton, professional team builder here, and in this video I want to talk about ways to stop gossip in its tracks. The first way to bring gossip to a close is always to make sure that you're not the person starting it, you're not the person engaging in it. And I've got another video about how to identify if you're participating in gossip, but this video is going to focus on what if it's somebody else who's gossiping? How do I get it to stop? How do I get gossip out of our culture so that our team can be healthy and strong? Here we go. Five ways to stop gossip in its tracks. Tool number one for helping to stop gossip in its tracks. Help the person gossiping identify that the story they're sharing isn't actually theirs to share. Did you hear about the fight that Katie and Rob had? They were yelling so loud. So apparently Katie forgot. To actually, I'm going to interrupt you there. It sounds like that's Rob and Katie's story to share. And so just in case they don't want anyone else talking about it, I'll wait to hear the story from them. Tool number two for helping to stop gossip in its tracks. Respectfully hold people accountable if they're sharing information they were specifically told not to share. I've got to tell you something, but you have to promise that you're not going to tell anybody else. Sure, what is it? Graham wasn't actually where he said he was. He actually went to apply for Sorry to interrupt you, but out of curiosity, did Graham ask you to not share this information? Maybe. If Graham asked you to not share that information, then you shouldn't be sharing it, and I'll help you out with that. I don't want to hear it. Tool number three for helping to stop gossip in its tracks. Help people identify if they are potentially contributing to ruining somebody's reputation and therefore might be on the line for defamation. You know what? It's not fair when other people get ahead by cheating. I saw Amy's timesheets and she didn't work the hours that she put down on there. She's making more money than she should. She's a total liar. Calling somebody a liar and saying that they're cheating on their timesheets is actually a pretty serious accusation. Um, just so you know, if you're spreading that information or sharing that with other people, that could potentially ruin Amy's reputation. And if any of that information is incorrect in any way, if you ruin her reputation as a result, you could actually end up in court. That's defamation. I don't want you to get in trouble. That's probably something that you should keep to yourself or go talk to Amy about. Tool number four for helping to stop gossip in its tracks. Ask a person who's mad at somebody else if they've actually gone and talked to the person that they're mad at. Hey, how you doing this morning? You look kind of frustrated. It's that whole Amy thing I was telling you about yesterday. You didn't want to talk about it, so don't worry about it. That's really upsetting you, eh? Out of curiosity, have you talked to Amy about it yet? Talk to Amy? Are you kidding me? What am I supposed to say? Hey, Amy, I think you're cheating on your timesheets. How well is that going to go? That's going to be a little uncomfortable. Well, maybe you'll get some clarification that she's been working extra hours so she's not cheating on her timesheets and then you won't be frustrated anymore. Or you'll call her out on something wrong that she's doing and maybe she'll make a change. She'll be honest on her sheets and she won't get fired. Yeah, still sounds like a conversation I don't really want to have. Yeah, I get that. But she's the only one who can actually solve the problem and you're not really enjoying life in the meantime. Maybe that conversation's worth having. And tool number five for helping to stop gossip in its tracks, help the person who's gossiping switch from telling other people's stories to sharing their own. Find out what they've been up to, find out what they're thinking about, because that's not gossip, that's sharing life, and that is an awesome thing. Did you see the picture of Tim that got posted on Facebook this morning? I would die if somebody posted a picture of me doing something that stupid on the internet. Huh, well, you know what? Actually, I'm more interested in your weekend. How was it? Um, well, nothing really that exciting. I just packed boxes. What were you packing boxes for? Just getting rid of some stuff. I read this blog post about, you know, living more simply and my room's kind of crowded, so I thought I'd get rid of a few things. Simple living sounds really nice. That's actually really interesting. Tell me more. And there you have it, five tools to help bring gossip to an end. It's always going to start with you making sure that you're not participating in gossip, but when somebody else is doing it, those tools come in really handy for helping to rechannel the conversation and get them on a constructive path. And so with that, make sure that you check out the other videos here on my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and I'll look forward to seeing you later.